Today on the channel, from the Attack of the Clones, we've got Darth Tyrannus and Padme Amidalia. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Star Wars unboxing and review. And today on the channel, from the Attack of the Clones, we got Darth Tyrannus, we've got Padme Amidalia, and we've got a lot of fun. Maybe. But remember, for all your Star Wars needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging, we're going to talk about it, we're going to unbox it, we're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. We're going to do it like we always do it. Ladies first. Old Padme. She gets the Duke. She gets to go first. Darth Tyrannus will have to sit to the side for just a little bit more. we got a lot to talk about with him, so we'll get to him, though. But there he is. There he is. There she is. There's old Padme right there. Uh, an interesting outfit is this one we don't um, usually think of when we think of Padme, I guess. We think more of the dresses, stuff like that. But this is uh, some tactical gear out there. Uh, packaging, we know it, we love it by now. The Attack of Clones packaging. On the bottom, Coruscant Attack Gear, of course. And it looks like she's got a little bit of a, a radar dish with her, I guess. Radar dish. Uh, not actual size, I don't think. But very interesting looking. But there's that. On the back, there it is. We got the cross cell. We got the blurbs. We'll read one of those as we always do. We got Star Wars. We got Attack of the Clones. We got all the warnings. We got the UPCs. We got 10 Jedi Master Points. Ka ching, ka ching. Ages four and up. Old Padme with quick draw action. We'll see how that goes. Ooh, right off the card. See you later. There it is. And there's a big one up. Hi, see you later. Get out of here. Goodbye. Plastic prison time. Actually, it's a pretty good looking Padme. We'll see how that button. Ah, she's got a button on her. I don't like those. There she is in the plastic prison. Cool radar dish going on here. We'll see how that looks. This just fell off it. Who knows what's going on here? There it is. We're all out. See you later. Get out of here. All right, let's look at this radar dish. And the first thing I can see, it seems to be held together by magnets. Ah, oh, magnets. Uh, what an amazing invention magnets were. Uh, I don't know. Is that. An invention. Oh, there goes the rubber band. Like dental floss, but really strong this time. So kudos. There we go. Uh, but it looks like this thing just kind of breaks apart on you. Uh, kind of lame, actually. I don't know. Is this really that cool? I don't know where this came from. We got a piece that fell off it somewhere. Maybe the side. I don't know. Let's see if I can put this back together. But it looks like this piece either broke off or I got to figure out where it came from. Oh, right there on the side. Maybe. I don't know, this thing's okay. I like the magnet idea. That don't work at all. The magnet idea is okay. I mean, this whole thing breaks apart. Uh, it's kind of cool that it goes together with magnets, actually. You know, a lot of times it would just click together, stick together, who knows. Uh, but this is a different... There wasn't a lot of magnet use, at least in my memory of my childhood toys. And obviously this is uh, past my childhood. But uh, very interesting. So three different, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces going on here. And it all fits together pretty easily. And it's held together by magnets. Who to thunk Magneto would be involved in this? Uh, I did not. But it is a radar dish. It makes sense. I understand what it's supposed to be. However, scale-wise, everything else, this is a little small. I mean, when she's the same size as the radar dish, it seems a little crazy to me. But I don't know. I'm okay with that, though. And that's something different. And this is one of those accessories you could possibly use in different uh, displays. You could use this maybe your Ninja Turtles or something like that. Put it on a rooftop. Do whatever. So that's kind of cool for that aspect of it all. So it is what it is. But then you get down to Padme here in her Coruscant gear. Uh, Articulation-wise, a lot of articulation for some of these figures. Is we got the uh, legs that go up and down, but you also got knees. We also got boots. We got the arms that go up and down. One is totally static, power of the force style. But then the other one, uh, you got the old elbow moving to the side. She's given a thumbs up, which is an interesting one. It definitely looks like her. Uh, they did a good job on uh, Princess uh, Adam. I don't know. Pr Princess Abadalia. Jeez, where am I going here? They did a good job on print on the princess here. Uh, she looks like her. I like that. She does have the button in her back that you know triggers things, which. I don't know. Get love it or leave it. I don't. Not for me, really. It's just kind of. Does anybody really need this? Bam, 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 bam. I don't know. Just doesn't do a lot for me, unfortunately. But still a solid figure as far as uh, looks of it all. 
She does come with a helmet. The helmet fits on her. Yes, it does. You could almost pretend this is a different character if you really wanted to really build some things out. Uh, but I don't hate this one. This one is actually better than expected. This is pretty good. It's not your uh, traditional Amidalia figure out there. Like, it's not the big robes and all that kind of stuff or the white or whatever. It's just feels different, looks different. This is a good figure. And the accessory is not so bad either. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's something different. The magnet use is cool. I give it a pass. I give it a pass for these Star Wars unboxings. See if she'll lean right up against her radar dish. Now we turn our attention to an old friend. Don't call him Count Dooku. Dooku, Dooku, Dooku. I don't know. But it is Darth Tyrannus. And it's always kind of confused me. I really need to look in it more. What is the whole Darth Tyrannus? That was his first name, then he turned into Dooku. It always kind of confused me, or it was the other way around or whatever. I don't know when it stopped and when it started, and it felt like the Jedi didn't know uh, who he was, and but they knew him. Very strange with the names back and forth, and I thought that was always a big plot hole that I never really uh, stuck to my memory, at least. And maybe you're in the same boat, I don't know. But there he is. We've unboxed a few uh, Dukus, Tyrannuses in the day, and I always love it. Christopher Lee, a favorite of mine, of course. Uh, I've talked about my love for Christopher Lee in the past, but we've got all the usual suspects on the front of the package there. Uh, Geonosian Escape. Ah, oh, gotta escape that Geonosian arena. You gotta be careful. Got his Force Lightning, got his lightsaber, got the Glamour Shot, got all kinds of fun there. On the back, Glamour Shots, Cross Cells, Warnings, Blurbs, you name it, it's there. Ten Jedi Master Points. Thank you to the Mr. Uh, Tyrannus there. See you later. Rubber Band breaking already out of the package, so we'll see what we're into for that. See you later. Get out of here. No Plastic Prison. Everybody's fallen out, so... I guess we'll skip this one. We'll, we'll live. We'll live without a plastic prison. Just this one time, at least. See you later. Bam, there it goes. Coming back, almost like a boomerang. Almost. Very close. Very cool force lightning going on here. A big effect there. That's a big, gnarly effect. Uh, I could see people using this with something else, much like the radar dish, getting your most use out of uh, some of these things. I could see somebody doing something with this. And this is actually pretty solid. Uh, you just got to get it in his hand correctly. But, yeah, he's got a little force lightning going on. Very cool. Very cool. And then, ah, uh, he's got a gimmick on his arm here. How's that work? Oh, he's got the squeeze the legs. The old squeeze in the legs. There it is. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Yeah. And, of course, it's very fitting. It is. We are in the thick of cape season, as you guys all know out there. Uh, hopefully, you got your cape already out of the dry cleaners. But, yeah, he's got his lightsaber. And I love this lightsaber. It's his patented lightsaber, of course. Put that in his hand. Squeeze his legs. Force lightning is going. Uh... Falling off, off his hand. Let me see if I can fix this. I don't know. You have to play around with this Force Lightning to get it stay. But he does have a uh, very cool action, at least. And I'm not a big gimmick action guy, but this one's all right. I like that he can hammer it out and pound it out. He's got his cape flowing in the back. Uh, Christopher Lee looking only like Christopher Lee could look. Almost looks like an older Nick Cage as well. Uh, so that's kind of weird. Looks like he's Ghost Rider here. I don't know. But it's your typical Tyrannus Dooku figure. Uh, all the same kind of colorings, the Jedi outfit going on. Uh, Turn to the Sith, obviously, as we all know. Oh, what do we got on his hands here? Looks like we got magnets on his hand, and it is falling apart. So, I don't know. Very interesting. Very interesting figure here. I don't know if this is the greatest thing in the world, but I'm here for it. I like it. It's uh, cool to get Tyrannus. I don't know if I have another Tyrannus. I think all the other ones I've unboxed have been Dooku. Dooku? 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 Eh, who knows? Uh, but I like this one. Just because I like the character so much, probably, is a lot of the reason. But I'm here for it. Even if he looks like Nick Nicolas Cage a little bit, it's okay with me. I like the lightsaber. I like the coloring. I like everything. And I actually even like the gimmicky action on this one, which is very rare. I rarely like that kind of stuff. And then I do like the force effect. So, very cool on old Tyrannus there. And he stands up without a stand. Good for him. Bat in a thousand here. Two pretty good figures. Way better than expected. Gotta love that all day long, but what say you guys out there? Are you here for it? Did you have these? Did you love the Attack of the Clones? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for the Attack of the Clones, I am Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.